Let's solve for x equals negative 30. Solve for... Okay, let's have a look. Maybe we will encounter this problem. Okay. Um, when we have a go at this, obviously everything is going to be the same except for... The sign of the... That's going to be negative 30, which means that'll be negative a quarter, negative a quarter, da, 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 etc. Okay, so I think we will. So when we get to t equals 12 on pi, sine inverse of negative a quarter, you can already see this is going to give you a negative answer, right? Because sine inverse has what kind of symmetry as a function? Odd. It has odd symmetry. So if I put in a positive number here, in fact, this should give me exactly the negative of this, right? So I'm just going to go straight to the approximate one. Okay, but that doesn't make sense, right? I'm looking for the first time. I don't want to. I don't want to do any Doctor Who business and go back in time. So what will I do with this number? How do I get from that? Let me draw the graph a little bit bigger, and maybe you want to do this too, because we had only a rough sketch before. And try and work out what on earth to do with this number. <clears throat> okay, so what we have found is, like what's the number that it's providing us? It's, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, does that make sense? Okay. So how is it that I get from that number to a time that's positive that makes sense over here? What do I do? So can we just use the first part? How do I use the first part? Because um, because the sine function is periodic, which means that the first time it crosses um, negative 30 is the same as the first time it crosses um, it crosses positive 30 in the first half of its phase. So like the first section. Mm -hmm. First then is the same as the first then on that side. You lost me a little bit. Uh, Where are you talking about? So Where are you talking about? <coughs> um, so you know how the sine function is like it's, it's like reflect, this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking so about the fact that it's reflection <coughs> of the symmetry. Yeah, okay. So just pause for a second. The reason why this is hard is because you are not using the language of the question. Right? So we could say to the left, to the right, okay? So here we worked out it took that amount of time to travel to the right 30 meters. Yes? Does that make sense? So therefore you can say that same amount of time, well, it travels to the left that amount of time from here, right? Does that make sense? Because of the symmetry of motion, okay? Uh, in fact, we kind of did do that because you can see we got the same number out, okay? Oh. So have a look, have a look. Now I want to go forward in time until I'm there. What, what time is that, by the way? 12. That's, 12, 12. That's 12 seconds, right, 12 seconds. You can see the distance I now need to go further forward in time is this distance, which by the symmetry of this function is exactly that same distance, right? It's the same distance I found up here as well. And they're all the same distance, or same time, rather. This distance, this distance, this distance. Yeah, is that okay? So therefore, if I have to move forward this amount, which is what? 0 0.9652 dot 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 dot, right? Then the time it takes me to come around all the way is Time equals 12 plus 0.9652 dot 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 dot. Does that make sense? Okay, now I should point out um, that 0.9652, that was four significant figures from here, but this is not four significant figures anymore, is it? What is it? This is six, so I should approximate further. Is that the answer? Thumbs up. Okay, so again, was that hard numerically? No, but the concept was challenging to wrap your head around what's going on, how do I use the symmetry of this function to get a time which doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, to a time that does. Okay. Is that, see, what, see what I've done there? Does anyone ask any clarifying questions on that? Because I feel like that was confusing. Clarifying particular points. Are there more parts to this question? Yeah, see. So for part two, like the first method that we went down. Yep. Um, so you just plus 24 to that? If I add 24 to this, I will get a time when I am there. <coughs> but I won't get the first time. I won't get the first time. So have a look geometrically at what happens if I add 24 seconds. Here's the answer the calculator handed me. Right? And 24 seconds is one whole period. 
right? So therefore, uh, I go 24 seconds all the way to over here, oh. right? So yes, I am at x equals negative 30. I am 30 meters to the left, okay? But it's the second time I get there, mm -hmm. not the first time. So you're at 12. So, not quite. So I say, okay, what's, what is this distance? What is this distance? Exactly. Sorry, I should say, what is this time? Okay, and the, the size of the time is that many seconds, yeah? And I can see geometrically, because my graph is decent, or your graph might be perfect, because you use a template, that that distance and this distance are the same, right? Uh, it'll take me the same time to go 30 meters away from the origin, whichever direction I go in, okay? So therefore, I take that same amount of time and I add it to 12. So you know, you notice that's not this plus twelve. Do you notice that? Yeah. Because then that would be twelve way. minus. That's it would be going the other way. way. Yeah. Um, if I did, if I added twelve to this, where would I be on the graph? Where would I be? Um, the, the second the time that you get to thirty. Very to good. Right. I would be at the second time I'm thirty meters okay. to the right. Because look, um, if I put in twelve minus that, right? There's twelve minus that. See, I've gone to backwards in time. Right, which is here, the second time of 30 minutes to the right. Plus. Yes, correct. So it's really 12 plus this. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? 